What's up guys? Uh, I know that I normally do these video blogs on Fridays, but Friday is tomorrow and I'm going to be crazy busy tomorrow with stuff. So I want to make sure I hit it this week. First, I want to apologize for the crappy sound on last week's video blog. I was in my car with the engine running and um, I guess I didn't realize just how much the hum would be in the background. So if for the six of you that watch that, uh, I'm sorry. Um, secondly, tomorrow is uh, the opening of the Seduction of the Innocent exhibit at Alternate Reality Comics on Maryland Parkway in Flamingo Road. Uh, it's basically a rehash of an exhibit that debuted at the UNLV Barrack Museum last year that I put together as um, <clears throat> a thing to tie into Band Books Week last year. It's the offic first official kickoff event for the Vegas Valley Comic Book Festival, which is happening next weekend, and I'm going to blog the heck out of that for you. Um, but uh, the opening reception is tomorrow night, 6 p.m., Friday night, October 26th, at Alternate Reality. There's going to be food and wine and non-wine beverages and me and the art, which is basically a visual timeline exploring the history of censorship in comic books. So if you don't know anything about that, or if you want to know more about it or whatever, come down, check it out. It'll be up all month, but if you come tomorrow night... We're doing a benefit for the Comic Book Legal Defense Fund, which is appropriate because they are a nonprofit organization that fights to, uh, you know what I'm trying to say? I'm not even going to edit this video. I'm just going to leave that in. Uh, it's a nonprofit organization that basically defends comic creators and retailers and individuals whose uh, First Amendment rights have been violated uh, or are potentially being violated um, related to comic book things like selling, uh, you know, kitty porn, which isn't actually kitty porn, but it's actually manga that just depicts people in a, like, they look like children. Anyway, the point is, they do good work, um, and we're doing a fundraiser for them. So, uh, one of the things that we're gonna have is a print that I designed that you may have seen that posted around. Let me show it to you. Looks like this. Yeah. Uh, the 11 by 14, so they're frameable, nice glossy prints. There's only a hundred of them. I'm going to sign a number of them tonight. They're going to be available for just $5 tomorrow night. Uh, so come down to Alternate Reality, pick those up. Uh, I'm sure that after the fact, if there's any left, Ralph will still have them available for sale there. But, uh, if not, uh, then that means they're sold out. Either way, uh, there's also going to be a raffle prizes and stuff there tomorrow night, and all proceeds from the raffle tickets are going to go to the Comic Book Legal Defense Fund also. So, yeah, come out. It'll be cool. 6 to 9 p.m. Uh, free, of course. And uh, buy some comics while you're there. I'm sure he'll have awesome sales. And, uh, yeah, so that's happening. So i got to get those ready. The other thing i got to do is spend some time on this thing back here um, because I'm going to be doing a thing in theory. It's planned, right, Kyle? It's planned. Jarrett, whenever you get back from Michigan or wherever you're at. Um, but I'll talk about it next week more. But let me just say I'll be back on the skins for a one-time show only, a special thing. It's going to be cool, So uh, and it's tied into the comic book festival. And if you've been following me for a while, you probably know what I'm talking about, but I, I'm weird about jinxing things. But anyway, i got to go practice so that I don't suck. And, uh, this is, that's it. This is really short. I'll keep this under four minutes. Forget five minutes. Uh, anyway, I might check in tomorrow regardless, but just in case I don't have time, I wanted to check in right now. So I'm going to go do that and peace out.